Welcome back everybody. Now today I'm taking a look at a couple of strange USB rechargeable batteries that I found on Amazon. Very strange. Today I'm going to find out if they really work. That's today's video. Both of these are, are rechargeable batteries that have a USB connector right in the battery itself. This is a AA battery that has a male USB connector. This is a AAA USB battery that has a female connector. This one requires its own USB port, while this one has a special cable that allows you to do four batteries with just one USB port. I didn't really want to compare them to each other because I don't know if one was really good, one was really bad. So what I wanted to do was compare these to other batteries of the same size. So I got AA of this one, AAA of this one, and I compared them to some, just kind of some a random array of different batteries. So I actually started this video back in early May and I, I had some technical problems and then when I was editing the video I didn't really feel like I was conveying what I wanted to convey. I actually had two other items I was going to include in the video but I decided to just kind of ditch those. I'll show them later but they're not going to be a, a significant part of this video after all. So it's actually taken me a couple of months away to figure out how to really kind of tweak this video and, and present it in a way that I think is, is useful to you. But let's go back to my original original unboxing of these batteries and see how that went. All right, so next after unboxing them, I had to charge them up. The first thing I noticed is that the AAA batteries were more convenient to charge because they only required one port while the AA's required four. So at this point, I was gonna take a look at these batteries and try them on a battery tester and see how they kind of compared. Now, I didn't want the focus of this video to be on the battery testers, which is part of the th things that I scrapped from this original video. But I had two different battery testers. One came free with a battery organizer, which I'll show later. One I paid 95 bucks for. They were kind of giving different results. The cheap freebie battery tester doesn't really put them under a load while the $95 battery tester does. So that's probably part of the reason I was getting different results. I don't think either one of them are perfect, but here's how some of those tests went. Let's compare these on both testers, shall we? Now they both are supposed to be lithium ion batteries. So let me, let me check it out here. Lithium double A under load. 10%. Wow. 10%, not good. Wow, these are not impressing me at all. 10%, again. Nothing. I think this one might need to be charged still. Let me try the, uh, the AAA batteries. Again, just charged. I'm going to try the lithium. This clearly states lithium ion on the side of the battery. 10%. 10%. 10%. What am I going to guess is going to be 10%. Let me try them on the tester here. Now this tester is a bit awkward. You have to kind of get in there. It wants to slide around. It shows it all the way pegged. Pegged. I think this one's dead. I don't know why because I just charged these. This one's showing no, no juice at all. I wonder if this, I got a bum battery. All the way. Maxed out again. So. When tested as a lithium ion, this one's showing them weak. This one's showing all of them pretty strong. The next thing to do is a real world test. That's next. Now it's time for a real world test. I want to start off with the AA batteries. Now only three of them worked. One of them was a dud. So I had to just test three at a time. I recreated a test I did back in 2018 with uh, some fans. So I have the three USB batteries on one side and I have just kind of a random selection of batteries on the other and the USB batteries did not fare so well. Check it out. I've got these six batteries the three USB batteries. I've got kind of a somewhat of an older rechargeable, a Duracell, and looks like a, a fake Duracell. All six of these pegged in the green for this battery tester. So this shall be at least somewhat equal. I want to see how these three do against these three. 
All right, I've got all six fans spinning. You got Bailey over there waiting. Let's see how the three USB batteries compare to three kind of randomly selected other batteries. I came out here to check at 201. I had to grab my camera. We've got two casualties, both of them the USB. These two did not make it. I'm gonna say right about the two hour mark, they, they died, the two USB batteries. All the other three regular batteries are still going and one of the USB batteries is still going. So we've got a disappointing showing. The two USB batteries croaked. Only about 10 minutes later, all three of the fans with the USB batteries died and all three of the others are still going. Even the, even the old rechargeable that wasn't even new is still outlasting it. Not impressive. I just came out here and checked the 230 mark and this one stopped working. I'm not even sure which one this one is. Let's see. Oh, it's the, uh, it's the old rechargeable. Even though this is an old rechargeable, it still outlasted the USB batteries. So that's either saying something for this rechargeable or not much for those batteries. All right, we're at the four and a half hour mark and this one's finally starting to die. And it just stopped right about four and a half hours. I don't even know which one this one was. Let's see. I'm gonna guess it's the, not the Duracell, let's see. Oh, it is the Duracell. I'm not sure that Duracell was brand new, but it was pegging the, uh, the tester. That means the generic battery actually won. This was not really a test of the Duracells though, just to see how the USB batteries compared, and they didn't. They actually lost quite badly. I checked it at five and a half hours, it was still going at 6.08, not going. A very impressive showing here from the cheap Duracell knockoff. Now I probably should have made sure these were new batteries, but it didn't really matter. New or old, they still destroy the USB rechargeables. Next up, I wanted to try out the AAA batteries. I tried those against uh, a tack light. Each tack light requires three of them. So I did three of the USB batteries in one tack light and three Duracell rechargeables in the other. They were brand new out of the package and here's how that test went. All right, it's time for the tack light night test the AAA batteries. Here's what I've got. In tack light number one, I've got these brand new Duracell rechargeable batteries. Tack light number two has my trusted USB AAA batteries, freshly charged, I might say. All right, here we go, USB batteries, Duracell batteries. It's only been about 40 minutes and the USB battery already conked out. Look at this, not dead. Rechargeable Duracell still going strong. Well, I'll let this go longer and see how it goes, but the Duracell rechargeable just slaughtered the USB battery, slaughtered it. All right, I'm at the 55 minute mark. This one has been coming on and off actually since then. This one just went off. It's kind of interesting. It seems like, oh, there it goes again. I thought this was gonna last hours, but it didn't. See, I can turn it back on and it'll go for a little bit and it'll turn back off. So the battery is obviously not doing so well. Yeah, yeah, see, it went off again. So yeah, the battery's not doing so well. So. It wasn't a blowout, but it was definitely a win by Duracell. So now it's been over two months since those first two tests were done. I can tell you that I've been using these batteries actually quite a bit. I use the AAAs in my UV light when I do my scorpion hunts at night. I've had to recharge them several times. I've been using AA batteries in my audio recorder, which hasn't gone well, by the way. I, in fact, I have lost audio because the AA batteries are so bad. They go from full to empty almost immediately. But I have been using them. And what I wanted to do now is quickly recreate those tests since they've had a few months of use they've had quite a few charging cycles so once again I recreated my fan test and here's what happened there for this round I've got a brand new Duracell a brand new Rayovac and one of my rechargeable Duracells and we're off once again we've got the USB rechargeables here we've got a regular Duracell Rayovac and a rechargeable Dur Duracell right there I got my stopwatch going. It should be interesting and my expectations are not very high, at least for this side. At the 207 mark, two of them are out, just like last time. Can the final USB battery give the others a run for their money? I'm doubtful, but we'll see. Almost on cue, this one only lasted a couple minutes more. 210 mark, I just watched it turn off. Almost the same results as last time. All three USB batteries, unimpressive. Duracell, Rayovac, and a random rechargeable still going strong. I forgot to plug my phone in until it died. But we have our final contender here. Last time I checked at the six hour mark, all three were still going, but I, here I am at the seven hour mark and these two have both died. Obviously much better than the two hours these lasted. This one looks like it's, it doesn't have much life left in it, but let's see what we got here. 
The regular Duracell did not win. The Rayovac has won. I mean, this is completely unscientific. Completely unscientific, and that's not even the point of this test. But I'm, I'm a little surprised the Rayovac outlasted the Duracell by, by a good hour. So the, the Rayovac won, but again, these were just horribly outmatched by the row of just regular batteries. And that's it. Final time, approximately 7 hours and 25 minutes on the Rayovac. Pretty impressive. Not so impressive. USB. Duracell. And they're off. Let's see how long this takes this time. They've both been used quite a bit over the last couple months, so I don't know if that's going to make a difference or not. It shouldn't, but we shall see. Oh, look at this. Barely 14 minutes. Look at this. It's already went out. Wow, 14 minutes. They've actually gotten considerably worse in just two months. Not impressed. All right, it's been 35 minutes. Duracell's still going strong. I let this cool off for a while just to make sure it didn't overheat, which I don't think it did, but let's test it anyways. All right, it goes on good. Oh, it didn't last very long. Definitely didn't overheat, it's just, it's just weak. Last time this lasted about 50 minutes, but I wasn't timing it. This time I'm actually timing it, so we'll see how long it actually lasts. We're at an hour and 17 minutes and it's getting very dim. And there it goes, hour and 17 minutes. It's just about to flicker off, but it's basically off. All right, well, it lasted about an hour longer than the other one. For the AAA tack light test, I actually got a little bit different results. The tack light lasted longer the second time. That could be because the Duracells were new out of the package the first time. Maybe that wasn't a full charge. I did swap flashlights. So that could have affected things. But any way you cut it, the rechargeables were really bad the second time through after only a few months of use. It only lasted 12 minutes. So before I wrap this up, I did want to take a look at the battery organizer. I also was originally going to include in this review, but it really isn't much to review. So I just, I figured I'll throw it at the end here, but here's a quick look at my unboxing and how the original battery organizer went. And there we go. As I noticed last night, there's foam with a bunch of these inserts in there. And on the video from the Amazon page, they said to use a pin or something like that to poke them out. That's pretty easy. Kind of weird that they just can't send this pre-poked. Like, do I have to actually spend my time poking these foam things out of here? I guess I do. You know, it almost seems fun at first, but it's getting a little old. It's getting a little bit old. That's a lot of foam inserts. We are all poked out now. So it holds 66 AA batteries, 48 AAA batteries, this battery tester that comes with it, eight nine volts, six D cell, eight C batteries. It's also room in this pouch as well. Now, if you're anything like me, which I hope you're not, but if you are, you've probably got a drawer full of batteries like this laying around your house. And this is how I keep my batteries organized. I don't. So let's see if this organizer will actually help with this because this is, this is not good. All right, that's what I've got. Not pretty, not pretty. All the batteries in there. I got plenty of room left and it's much more organized than that bag was. I was also going to take a look at these battery testers, but I was getting such different results. It really wasn't a fair test. I don't think either one is perfect, but both of them give you a decent idea, I guess, of the kind of shape of batteries are in. These usually cost about five bucks on Amazon, but I don't think they put it under a load. It was 95 bucks and it does, but it doesn't test every kind of battery on here. So, you know, it's a little bit of a trade-off depending on which one you want to get. Well, that's it. I'm glad I tested them out. They look really cool, but they did not perform very well at all. These things could not even hang with lowest end old rechargeables. I mean, there's just because a battery looks cool doesn't mean it's going to be very useful. In my opinion, these batteries failed pretty badly. They might have some use around the house if it's something that's not very important, that's not real vital. Otherwise, I would kind of stay away from these. Not to mention, most rechargeable batteries can go into one of these that holds four of them anyways. So the USB rechargeable batteries seem a bit like a novelty to me. Not ready for prime time and not as good as just a standard battery out there. Have you guys tried one of these batteries? Tell me what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you next time.